reach and uh, workplace legislation are a perfect example on where things can be articulated in the spirit of better regulation. Every year, 100,000 workers are, war are dying uh, as a consequence of being exposed to carcinogen at the workplace. So it means that something has to uh, be changed at EU level. We have been fighting for a long time for the revision of uh, the carcinogen directive and I see that some uh, industry sectoral organizations agree with us. At the same time, it won't replace REACH. So we need REACH because REACH is not only about workers' protection, it's also about public health, about innovation, innovation, about environment, and it's possible to develop a positive synergy between the workers' protection legislation and REACH. This debate is not about one versus the other, it's one with the other and find the best way of articulating the benefits of each of them with the right set of data. And as industry, we are committed to first generate the data, second do the proper risk assessment, including the exposure uh, assessment, so that the best answer is given to the risk when they are identified. When the data identify a specific risk with the workplace and only with the workplace, we believe that the REACH authorization is maybe not the best way to address that, knowing that there is an existing regulation. Both REACH and occupational legislation are an essential partnership that work very well together and complement very well together. REACH was designed to improve the communication along the supply chain, to reinforce the information that was already provided by, by the occupational legislation through the safety data sheets. But REACH add, have an added value with regard to information to, to workers and to the public. And one of the points of these better regulations, uh, we have indeed an indication uh, to find more coherence and consistency between uh, REACH and the OSH. It doesn't mean that doing better regulation means a new policy initiative, but also to work on the implementation of the current initiative. Any decisions, any discussions should be based on evidence and science. Open the dialogue with the stakeholders, NGO, trade unions and industry, and also with the European institutions uh, uh, like uh, the European Parliament. We very much hope that the better regulation spirit of uh, President Juncker and uh, Vice President Timmermans are going to translate into effect and real uh, change in the way regulations are made and how at the end we have to comply with our regulatory framework.